Hey there, people. Um, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. This is part 20. Yes, that is right. 20 parts. Woo! And this will be the last part going up today, because 9 is a lot. So, let's just shrink on down after taking Mayor Hagen's advice to ram into things. Um, yeah, I have been recording, like, all day, pretty much. Uh, they don't really take that long to record, actually, 15 minutes each. But I took, like, a break in the middle. Let's head on down here. No, ah, fell in the water. Damn it. But, yeah, I've done a lot today, and... Um, kind of want to get this through. Let's push this over and reveal this ladder. And we can just push that book off. And now we have to go all the way around to get the book. Wait, don't wait for me. Yes, wait on. I don't know why he would leave that book out here for so long. Yeah, whatever, I can just put me back on there. I fall in the water way too much. Uh, I mean, seriously, I... Lava and water, actually, both of those. So many times. Oh, wait. Do not want to forget the book. I went back to town on my practice file and had to come all the way back because I pushed the book down and forgot to grab it. Um, let's just hit a ride on Zephyr, the magical mysterious bird of wonders and awesomeness cool amazing powers yeah there's his name um and back into the library to return our last book would you look at that i can't believe it it's our copy of a history of masks the mayor of ours is a real piece of work isn't he it must have been quite a challenge to get this back from him. Yeah, he's kind of an idiot. You are my new favorite person, Link. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, sweet, I'm our favorite person. You know, Link, you've you've now returned all of our overdue books. You only have three overdue books in this whole place. Well, no one really checks stuff out, do they? I can finally get them back to the bookshelf. Hey, stir Xion. Books to the shel to shelves. Yo, yo. Here I am. Leave it to me. So apparently the crazy man thinks he's a gangster. It's really awkward saying Link when I... When people are talking to me. Bookshelves are back in order. I feel so refreshed renewed. Enjoy your browsing. Wow, she really loves her job. Anyway... Yeah, it's awkward calling him Link. Because, like, I pretty much never name my character Link. The only reason why I did it in this one... This is actually the first time I've ever named him Link. Um, the only reason why I did this it, it, in this one is because my name didn't fit. And, um, I don't know, I just like, hmm, my name didn't fit, might as well, uh, choose to call him Link. I don't know. So, now that these books are back, we can climb on up. One book, two books, three books. And ah uh, no over here and four books apparently. See if there was just drill a hole in this book they could get there much easier. It's like a hollowed out book. It's pretty cool. He's got a nice setup in here. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to uh, this old man first thing. Well ho ho ho! Oh, a visitor after many long weeks. Even Jotari has been away so long. I've almost. I've grown almost lonely, but what is it? But what is it? What do you need? Hmm? You want to visit the Temple of Droplets? Very well. You are the first such brave person in a long while. Stand in the clover in front of me. Um, okay. It's kind of odd. Alright, alright. Hey, right, you kids today, you have no patience for an old man. What? I, I did exactly what you said. Well, go stand over there, just like I told you. I am standing here. Whoa, ho, ho. Now open secret mystery panel. Wait, what? Huh? Oh, shit. 
That guy is kind of a douche. Whoa ho ho. Wasn't that fantastic? Now then, it's up to you to pass the trial safely and recover the tool you need. Oh, what fun. I do love the real nitty gritty of adventuring. Yeah. You're a douche. Erk. Ow, ow, ow. I just smacked my hip on something. Well, not my hip. My whatever. Ever it is I have now. My brim. Whatever. You old fool. You've... Uh, that old fool must just love sending people on dangerous missions and getting them killed. And how did that, uh, that library get into the Temple of Droplets anyways? And how did a bookshelf lead down here? I guess the answer lies up ahead. Keep moving, my boy. Hopefully the answer to why a bookshelf is leading up here will be answered. Uh, this, that, that one really sums me. Yeah. So let's just go ahead and use the gust jar on here. Launch ourselves over. Kill some more of these slug men, people things, whatever they are. They're not people or things. Oh, there's a fairy in there. Fairy in a bottle. Locked door. Um, so these guys, um, if you hit them on their pincers, you won't damage them at all. See? And they will use their pincers as boomerangs, so you can just go ahead use the boomerang, stun them, and kill them pretty easily. Or you can even just knock them in the water like I did right there. And inside this chest is the flippers. Press A to glide through the water and B to dive. I will press A to glide through the water and B to dive. And I will dive inside this waterfall. And there's a nice, I think, 50 rupees right there. I was surprised I found that on my practice file because... I was just randomly there, and wow, nice 50 rupees. Uh, we can't do anything about the, that ice thing right now. Um, let's see, I'm not sure if there's anything in the waterfall down here. This is just back where we were a second ago. Um, because I didn't actually check this earlier. No, there's not. Whatever. No big deal. Just head on through here. See, I keep saying here, not here. Whatever. And outside. Okay, we've got flippers now. So we can finally swim. Oh my god, I've fallen in that water so many times. Uh, um, which means we can probably get to the Temple of Droplets now. But, um, there's a few more side things I want to get done before heading on out there. So, I'm going to go ahead and do those. Ooh, two red rupees in that one. Uh, let's see, what did I want to do? Oh yeah, let's start off by going into this middle house place hut thing. And talk to this guy. Oh ho, here we are. You've come to Fabulous Simon Simulations. Would you like to hear about us? If I say no, will you let me try? Okay, it's 10 rupees for one try. Interested? I'll do it. Um, basically, he puts you to sleep, you go into a simulated environment, kill monsters, and you get something. And you get it in the real world. I see, so you're going then. Well, let me get her fired up here. No, you're getting very sleepy. So very sleepy. Hee ho. Ho. Howza. I don't know why I said howza. And in here, there are a bunch of enemies. Ah, uh, this one. I like the one I got. Ah, oh, shit. I hate these guys. They... Ah, oh, god. Okay, yeah, you can't use your items with the beetles on you. And these fox guys, if they hit you, you will lose a bunch of rupees. God damn it, beetles, get off me. Get off me. Okay. I'm just gonna kill the beetles off first. Damn, I lost so much money there. But um luckily if they drop five rupees. I'm quite certain like all of them drop five rupees. 
Okay, that one didn't. I guess not. And we got levers in here. How about the other room? There's like two different rooms, or probably more than two, that you can get. Um, ah, oh, shit, 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 my money. Damn it. Um, the other one has like moblins and a few of these fox guys. Easier if you ask me. And less costly to you. Kill off all the last of these levers. Uh, I think that's all of them. Yep. And a chest will appear. Let's see what's inside. Uh, if I can ever open it. A piece of heart. Pretty nice. One more should get us a heart container. Let's see if we can get that last one in this video. Hopefully. Got like four minutes. Um. Hmm. I'm not sure if I can. Maybe if I hurry. It's gonna be cutting cl pretty close though. Um, might do some fast forwarding or something because I want to get all the side stuff out of the way in this. So, um, this thing that we found earlier, or used kinstones to get earlier, um, is a portal that leads up to here. Got a couple kinstone pieces. Head up these stairs. And there is a man who there's something around him. I can't believe old Gregor is sick. He was looking so healthy. I guess something just took hold of him. Hmm. Maybe that spirit-like thing. Well, let's obviously you want, when you see a ghost, you want to vacuum it up. Luigi's mansion taught us all that, didn't it? Well, well, well. Look at the color has come back to you. Oh, his face. How can I ever thank you? I still have a hard time believing he'd been possessed by a monster, though. He was. He was. What? An evil spirit had taken hold of me, and you drove it away? You, you might be right. I can already feel my energy returning. I'll be able to get out of bed soon. What's your name? Link? Thank you, my boy. You saved me. Okay, 100 mysterious shells. I suppose that's rather nice. Um... So, um, when he gets out of bed, he might give us something nicer. I'm gonna cut right here, because I really want to get done with side stuff in this, so, um, I'll meet you back in town. Okay, um, so, here we are, back here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna talk really fast. Uh, okay, now with the Zora Flippers, or, I'm not sure the Zora Flippers, just the Flippers, um, we can finish off this quest here, and... I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, I'll probably fast forward this because we are really low on time. So, yeah. Epic fast forward. And I'll be cutting out fails.